Hello, and welcome back to The Traveling Woodworker. We're in Innsbruck, Austria with what I'm calling a special episode. Today, we visit the Glockengesseri Grassmeyer Bell Foundry and Shop. While there is a gift shop, the majority of our time will be spent in the museum and foundry. As luck would have it, we're here on casting day, and we'll view the entire process and ceremony of casting several different size bells. With its establishment in 1599, the Grassmeyer Foundry has been in existence for more than 400 years. The company has been one of the largest manufacturers of bells in the world since the 20th century and has delivered bells to around 100 countries. Let's enter the museum and view some of the history and see the process of how a bell is constructed, shaped, cast, and decorated through several displays. Here are a number of historic bell clappers on display. The clapper is the part of the bell which strikes against the sound bow to create the tone or ring. And above are a few of the yokes that once held the weight of the entire bell. As I was moving to the next area of the museum, I heard a guide giving a small group of visitors a personalized tour. Let's listen in. And uh, the next circle is the biggest bell in Austria. Mm. So now you can guess uh, how heavy the biggest bell in Austria is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is 10 tons. 10 tons. And here, what do you think? For 15 tons. 15, okay. 40. 40? Oh, that's really high. Yeah. 20. 20. 20. And that's Pumar in Vienna, in the St. Stephen's Cathedral. Yes. Have you been there? Yes, before coming here. Yes. Oh, it's, it's in Moscow? Moscow. Yeah. In Moscow? It's the biggest bell in the world. That's clear. I've seen it. Oh, yes. yes. Wow. It's huge. Now it's you get it from here to... As to not wear out my welcome, I resumed my self-guided tour of the museum. This display depicts the way a bell is created, molded and shaped, and finally decorated if desired. These are some of the wax design templates used on previous bells. They give extra decoration to what would be just an ordinary bell. We now see a representation of the molding process that is used to shape a bell. Two molds are made, an inner and an outer, with a space between into which the molten metal is poured to create a given shape when the metal hardens. Once hardened, the mold material is broken away to reveal the bell and any imperfections if present. Here is a cutaway of a bell that was cast so that you can see the thinness of the bell's wall at the top and how it thickens toward the bottom. This is just one of the things that will determine the bell's tone. And here we see a cast of a decorative crown. I'm now getting ready to enter the hands-on portion of the museum. In this room, there are several mounted bells that you're allowed to strike to hear the tone of each of these differently tuned bells. Thank you. 
In the outside garden of the museum is a graveyard of sorts of some of the older bells. Many date back a few hundred years. As I indicated in the introduction, I was extremely lucky to be here on a day when they are casting bells. It was a very unique experience to witness. So that you can enjoy the full experience, I will end my narration during this portion of the video. I will provide a few text comments in a few spots so that you can follow along with the process. Enjoy. Sveti Juri. 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 Sveti
Da, tu je, tu je, što kažem, što se tiče ti voštani figura i od voska, što se lijepi na zvonama su istu od voska, među voska i lijepim po slobno. Ima različiti kako ko želi, onda se tu radi ručno, to je nevoljno. Ima još jednu grupu, jel? Mogu svi stati ovdje.
mit einem Holzstamm, mit einem Erdenstamm, verrühren wir jetzt Zinn und Kupfer.
such a special and unique opportunity to experience, and I was glad to share it with you. Whether it's wood, metal, leather, glass, or thread, I'm glad to see these old world traditions are alive and well. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll give it a like and find someone to share it with. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Happy trails from the traveling woodworker.